How special is that? Hello, mister. Long time no see. Oh, you've grown so much. Gorgeous boy. I just heard the report now. We actually have Tristan to thank for it because I was busy chattering to away, away to you about the hippos and Tristan called me to say I must go quickly. Just a little bit to the west of where we were. And there we go. Looks like Hosanna to me. Wonderful. How special is that? We've had lion, we've had hyena, we've had leopard, we've had three of the top five predators in less than two hours. I'm chuffed. I'm very, very chuffed indeed, especially to see this special little leopard. And the fact that you can watch him live wherever you are in the world, from the comfort of your armchair, perhaps with a cup of coffee, in which case I'm quite envious, is an amazing, amazing thing. Oh, he is looking south towards our southern boundary. I hope he doesn't decide to go that way. For our new viewers, this is a young leopard called Hosanna. Pretty sure it's him. Well, I cannot believe how much he's grown. He really has. He seems to have just... Is he calling? Is he calling or is he just coughing? I'm clearing his throat. I'm just signaling to one of the other vehicles. Not as we've spoken about the fact that not everybody can drive where we can drive and we can't always drive where everybody can drive. Fortunately for us, we can actually drive right up to this leopard. Um, but the poor people <laughs> next to us have to sit about 100 meters away from him and look at him. Fortunately, judging by the size of the camera lenses on that vehicle, that's not a problem and that's actually probably as close as they are physically capable of getting and still getting a photograph. He is calling. He's calling. David, you say now find a cheetah and complete the big cat trio. I'll do my best, David. I appear to have broken my rotten spell of bad luck. Who's he calling to, though? Is he calling to his sister? He's just giving that gentle... Oh. Oh. Sound. Who are you after, mister? Standing by. Copy, perfect. Thanks, Peter. Um, he's calling up here. I don't know whether his sister's maybe around somewhere. Peter's just very kindly letting me know that we can go a little bit closer. I really want to see Shungila and Hosanna this morning. I know that's very spoiled of me, but just, just to really get an idea, I haven't seen Shungila in ages and ages and ages. Let's just sit here patiently. This is probably gonna be our best view for now. I know he's quite hidden on top of the termite mound. But I'm really hoping Shungila is going to suddenly emerge. Now we heard reports yesterday that, now this is where it gets a bit complicated. But further south from where we are now, Tandi, their oldest sister, killed a kudu and brought her cub, who is therefore Hosanna's nephew, um, and just a little bit younger than Hosanna, and Hosanna and Shungile also joined the scene, only to be chased off by a male lion. Did you all keep track of that? Because that does get rather complicated. So basically, <laughs> essentially to try and explain it in slightly clearer terms for our new viewers, this cub, he's not quite a cub anymore, he's almost at the sub-adult point, I mean he's certainly been looking after himself. Oh, this could get tricky. I think we better keep up with him here. Him and his sister are the son and daughter of Queen Karula, the dominant female leopard of this area. Oh, 
Where are you going to take us, boy? Into the worst block in the world. Exactly where the lion took Tristan. Now, they are the, the, the daughter and the son of Karula, but Karula's had raised five successful litters to adulthood, which means that her oldest litter, Tandi and Shadow, are now 10 years old and have had cubs of their own. He's scent marking. <laughs> okay, not quite fully scraping his feet. So not a full territorial display. Look at his chuffing. Good morning. You want to know how many big game kills um, Hosanna has made. Fortunately, he's not a big game hunter. He hasn't managed to catch any elephants or anything like that. I actually don't know. We don't know. We know he's killed an impala. We know that his sister has killed a Daker. Oh, Hosanna. My boy, do we have to go through here? It's like following your mum. Ah. Uh, we don't know exactly. Uh, for our new viewers, you'll notice that we're driving over trees. This particular tree that I'm driving over is a bush encroacher. It's a bush encroachment species. And trust me, it would take far more than my vehicle to stop them from growing. They will pop back up in no time at all. Is that... Are you sure that's Hosanna? Hold on a second. Must be. Um, okay, I just want to get a better view of his face now that we're close. I just want to... Oh, this is horrible. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to get us a better position. Uh, luckily for us, James has found some grass, which is pretty tough at the moment, to show you. There you go. Perfect. Listen, you can hear him calling. Huh. You're not Osana. <laughs> it's not a male. Aren't we looking at Tundi? Am I going completely mad? This, this, this changes things completely. I'm looking straight into her face going, this is not Hosanna. Oh goodness. And of course now we go back around the other side of the termite mound. What is happening? This is the third time this week I've been called into a male that's a female or a female that's a male. Sorry, everybody. I got called into a young leopard. No wonder she's calling. It's Tundi. She's looking for Tumba. But this does say something. She is now right in the center of Karuda's territory. Right in the center. This is the heart of Karuda's territory. This is Karuda's daughter, Tundi. And the fact that she's here Just see the tip of her tail. No wonder she's calling. It makes so much more sense. I thought I was losing my mind. Well, at least we got a view of her. Well, we're actually lucky she didn't decide to hiss at us. Tandi actually needs a lot more personal space than Hosano and Shongile. Okay, so. Now, dear watcher, yes, I think she does know that the lion is here, or around here. I don't think that the lion knows that she's here, but I do think she would have known. Let's give her a bit of extra space here. There she is. She's looking for Tumba, her son. Oh, she nearly fell in a hole. 
but you can see how unfamiliar with this property she is at the moment. She's not taking the usual paths. No wonder I said it was like following Karula. It's her daughter. Of course it's like following Karula. And also explain why Hosanna suddenly got so big. It's because it's not Hosanna, it's an adult leopard. Really? Yes, I think she knows the lion is around. She would have heard him roaring. And she probably can smell him. Leopards are very good at avoiding lions, for the most part. It only very seldom happens that they're taken by surprise. So, that changes things. Yesterday, we had the story of Tandi killing the kudu. Our Trutan, you want to know if leopards bury their feces like cats? Not always. Occasionally. Particularly if it's if they defecate near a kill. They for some reason decide now they need to hide the scent of their scat to deter scavengers, even though the smell of the kill should be perfectly sufficient. But otherwise, no, they, they're not as fastidious as cats are. Hello, big girl. Every time she stops, I stop as well, because I don't want to distract her from calling, and I don't want Tumba not to be able to hear her calling. See how cautious she is. She's not walking like she owns the place. This is not within her normal territory at all. But she's looking for her son. Now yesterday there was that kudu kill by Tandi. I can't believe I didn't recognize my favorite leopard straight away. I just didn't see her face properly. She killed a kudu, she bought her son Tamba, and then Hosanna and Shungile apparently showed up, although I'm now starting to doubt that, because I was told this was Hosanna that I was coming to, so, you know, some serious confusion. And then the lion stole her kill. Maybe they chased the cub away. Maritza, you want to know what's going to happen now with Shungile? I don't know. I think Tandi and Shadow are both going to push further into Karula's territory. I think Tandi, as the naturally bolder sister, is going to do so quicker. Which is one of the reasons why I don't personally... Whatever the reasons for Karula's absence, whatever they may be, and at this point, honestly, you can decide what you believe because we don't know. But I don't support the theory that Karula left her piece of territory to Shungile because Shungile is not ready to defend it, and Karula would know that. So there's no way on earth that she she's disappeared now, as she has, because she's leaving a piece of her territory to Shungile. Because Tandi will come straight in and take it, which is what she's doing. I don't know what will happen to Shungile, but don't panic, because just because Shungile might not have her mother's territory doesn't mean she won't establish herself somewhere. She's just got to stay out of the way of her big sister, or her big sisters, for a while. That's all she's got to do. And keep hunting for herself, keep looking after herself. She'll be okay. At the moment, she's not a threat to Tundi. I don't think Tundi would be terribly impressed to see her, but she's not a threat to Tundi. And the fact that she survived that whole saga yesterday suggests to me that Tundi's not going to go out of her way to attack Shungile. But Shungile may not be able to establish herself here because this may become part of Tundi's territory. And until Shungile is big enough and confident enough... Hey, gorgeous. I'm so sorry. Keith, you wanted to know how I knew that that scent marking wasn't a full territorial display. Well, if I'd looked properly, I would have known that it was a full territorial display because initially I was working on the, under the assumption it was a male. And if I'd looked properly underneath the tail, I would have seen that was very clearly not the case. I just thought it was cold this morning, once again. But that was, that for a female was a full territorial display. A male would scrape his feet for it to be a full territorial marking for him. She's, I think she's gonna pop out again here. So let's just wait, here she comes, there we go. 
Oh, she's going back south again. Where's your boy? I love this leopard. She's such a fantastic female. Tiny. It's the same time she's killed an adult female waterbuck. Could do yesterday. Seen her with three. That's nice. Well, we're still looking around for our elusive.